I am able to communicate with not just one being, entity, anything. Like when I focus, I can find anyone. I just have to find out their name and what their job is in the universal world. So I've actually talked to the Earth game, the Earth game rule maker, and I know the rules to the Earth game. And I know that sounds funny, and I don't want to. I'm not going to start talking about that right now because it's more important than that. Okay. So the way that we learn how to astral travel, the way we learn how to lucid dream, the way we learn how to do it, whatever kind of style you call it, okay, you the reason you silence your mind and be still is because when you do that, it makes your body think that it's dead, basically. So when you die, <clears throat> it automatically happens because you die. Your body's dead. But you're not. So you, you, you either hear the white light, you hear the, the wing sound, you hear anything like that. And like, depending on if you were a heavenly descendant, someone who thinks you're going to go to heaven or hell when you die, according to your religion, you'll either go up towards the light or you go down into a hole. The people who are living a life of depression who usually take drugs and end up finding, you know, the scientific or not so religious but spiritual side of it through drugs, it's just what we call it, are, are the... Are the are the like people who have more depressing lives and are the poorer side that get that experience through through the earth because the earth is teaching us all the same lesson but just we take the our own route to do it and if you pursue it in depth even if it is a religious practice you'll get the spiritual experience of it but most people don't do anything in depth they just do it and act like they are if you're listening to what i'm saying you're knowing that i'm that i know exactly what i mean i've talked to the rule makers <laughs> so you, when you hear that light, so you, you can, okay, when you when you see the light going up, you, you know, you usually think that's going to be fun, or you see the light at the end of a tunnel going straight, you know, that's when you're just, you're not, you're unsure of if you, if you go to heaven or hell, it's usually, they say purgatory, it's a tunnel, you're going parallel, because we have to have a direction to something, or else when it's in darkness, that's when you think there's nothing, and then after a while, you can experience to open up your eye when you think you're in nothing, that's your third eye, you can open up your eye and see what's happening, because of what's happening is your astral body can project itself in any physical form and when you get strong enough doing that you can actually control more than one physical form but I'm not going to say anything more about that because I'm not allowed to experience it in human form in Dan Alexander form until I have enough people believing me because when, we're, when we all can do it <clears throat> like I've already created the rules for this stipulation in the earth game see like you have to in order to change the rules, you have to completely understand the game. And I completely understand the game. And I don't mean to sound stupid because other people, human beings like me, they're going to think that I'm fucking weird. Are you fucking serious, dude? No fucking way. You can't be spiritual and stuff and walk around fucking people and, and say fuck and spitting and whatever. But, you know, like, I don't do all that stuff anymore. But, I mean, like, those are things that I have done. But, you know, all those things, whatever. We all do it all because we're playing this game, and most of us don't know the rules. We hear the rules that we made down here. We came down here and made other rules of the game that we're in. And then people break off into another spiritual or religious group, and they make other rules for the game that we're already in. So there's so many games inside the game, inside the game. It's so weird when you look at it, and it sounds so basic and simple to people when they hear it. But that's the truth because it is that basic and simple when you finally understand it. And I finally understand it in a way where I can put it where I'm not like, oh, all the astrals and all the ghosts and all the... And it's, it's all there because it's all part of the game. You know, you go on Candyland and you go to the muddy swamps. Well, guess what? The muddy swamps is full of like Amazon and Galligators and Boogie Boogies. And, and on the other dimension, it has like Loch Ness Monster. And other Loch Ness Monster has had enough belief in it that it showed up physically. We know that, but not not for long. Where did it go? We don't know, but it just showed up because it used, like, water has an astral. There, there's water beings that are enlightened that want to do that too, but aren't strong enough to do it unless people believe it enough, and they use that power of belief. Like, you use, in this Earth game, there are so many levels of how we're using the energy, and most of us don't understand it. We're doing it with our minds through our, or what we're scared of or what we're happy about or, or what we believe in. And it's literally that simple. But we're not doing it using our body vehicles to do it because we don't know how powerful our body vehicles are. Well, guess what? I'm telling you right now, because if you're listening to me, I'm saying it in a way where you can understand it, which, one, proves that I must know something. And two, <laughs> I, I'm sorry to uh, tell you, but I've talked to the rule makers. And two means that it's easy for you to do. You just have to, you just have to try. You just have to try. You have to give up all the things that you've thought of for now.
up to this point. I mean, don't get rid of your family members because they, they were here in the game with you. And the reason they did that is because you're playing the game together. You decided to. You decided to. Whether it's a, a, a cut. And like some of them are just, they just decide to play the game and they're just here. So they didn't even know that they were going to meet you. But there are some of them that have meaning and you usually develop a closer bond with that. Why are some people close to one brother and not the other? Because those two brothers decided to play this game together. And whether or not they seem like they're in each other's face or they're, you know, like some, some family members don't get along at all and don't talk. Some family members are pissed off at each other and stay in contact their whole lives, even though they're pissed off at each other because deep down they love each other and they don't know why, but they do because love is unconditional. I mean, if I didn't know this stuff, I wouldn't be saying it so easily. And I've talked to the rule makers, guys. So anyway, and I don't want to go on and on and on about it, but I know the truth. So why would I not? go on and on about it when people are seeing, walking around living a lie. Everybody but me in, on earth is living a lie. That's an awesome feeling to have. But living a lie that it doesn't, isn't bad because everything is a reality. So whatever you're doing and following up to this point is fine. It's fine. I'm not telling you you're wrong because you're not. You're in the game playing it. But you're in a physical sense with a spiritual being controlling that physical sense. When you die and you see the light, either you go up, you go straight, or you go down. Why do you go down? Because you're, you, you think there's hell or you, you don't know what's going on and you're falling into the rabbit hole or whatever you want to call it. Anything like that. Why is it universal and stars and space and outer space and whatever? whatever? Because the unknown is whatever we've pictured it as. So what have we pictured it as? Lights. They can move. They can do this. And those are beings in another form that are doing that and choosing to do that because this is everlasting and infinite game because we can't die. The only thing we can do is lose the body we have. Lose the, the physical body we have. We can represent stuff out in space like a cloud. Just right now, I'm looking at the cloud, and it's going to swirl around. It looks like a little shrimp. And I'm trying to use my thing while I'm talking, but that's the thing. I can't do it while I'm talking. I have to focus really hard and do it. And I'm sure I could do it with people, and it is opening up and swirling around, but people would be like, oh, that's just a coincidence. But no, and a lot of times clouds just stay together. This cloud is actually disappearing in front of my eyes. Because I said swirl around, and I was like, well, all, all clouds swirl around. And it's like, well, they don't just disappear, do they? And it is completely almost gone, and it was huge a minute ago. I'm doing it with my mind, because it, we are this game. I know the rules of the game. The cloud has completely disappeared. I just watched a cloud disappear in front of my eyes, because I focused on it. Right, Bertie? looking around for me, turning its head like, what the fuck? Is there a weird thing right here? And there is. There's a dude down here in this truck looking up at you, Bertie. Look down at me. He's calling. Why is he calling? He feels he needs to. <laughs> this is so awesome. Anyway, I don't mean to get sidetracked. I love you guys. Peace.